as disclosure, I don't have any conflict of interest to declare. Uh, and what I'm going to do today is, is first g g give you a short intro on, on the importance of, of the invasiveness of, of glioblastoma tumors, and also on some of the basic, <clears throat> on some of the basic principles of, of road GTPases. And then I'll focus on two studies, uh, glioblastoma, in the labs. So one is the, an ongoing study <clears throat> where we're um, trying to identify the, the activators of RAC in, in, in glioblastoma. And another one is, is um, um, our, uh, because our current understanding of the role of the RAC effector synaptogenin 2 in glioblastoma invasion. And so we're actually mainly working on, on glioblastoma in the lab, but we also have a, 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 a burgeoning project on, on medulloblastoma, and we're going to have the time to talk about this today. So the, the glioblastoma multiform is the most malignant and unfortunately also most frequent adult brain tumor with a median patient survival of, of about a year. And uh, critically, it, it, it's strongly resistant to radiation and, and chemotherapy. And to note, there's very little progress that has been made in the treatment of this tumor over the past two decades. So per decade, only one month has been added to, to, this, uh, to the lifespan of, of, of patients. Um, and uh, as already uh, alluded to, um, the, the glioblastoma doesn't metastasize, but it, it's local invasion really that, that is critical here. And, and, and what you can see here is that so the local invasion occurs within centimeters from, from the, the, the primary tumor, and um, even after complete resection, um, tumors tend to recur um, quite, quite fast. As you can see here, uh, about four months after the, the first surgery here, you, you see tumors uh, coming up again, typically very close to the resection site, and, and, and the tumor got taken out here, and then, and then uh, three months later, the, there's another tumor that pops up. So the, 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 um, the, this uh, creates a dilemma for, for the physician is that, you know, of dissecting still functioning tissue that, that, that displays infiltrated tumor cells. So the, the, clearly we can't prevent um, tumor invasion. But, and, and so, so, so the, 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 the issue is that then is to limit this dispersive behavior as much as we can. So there's one interesting uh, notion here that, 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 that is becoming more current, and that is that migrating glioma cells proliferate less and are resistant to, to treatment. And this has been uh, coined by, by uh, Mike Behrens, the, the go or grow hypothesis. And so one question that, that is still outstanding is whether the reverse is also true. Whether if, if we can inhibit the invasive behavior of these cells, whether they also they, they become more sensitive to, um, to, to to various therapies, and that's still an outstanding question, and we're very much interested in this. Um, the so a couple um, re remarks here on on, on the, the principles of, of row GTPAs is um, the RAC GTPAs is a member of the row family, and as, as all as Lot, lots of other uh, members, they, they essentially act like switches. So I, I depicted the, the GTPase here as a box, and the GTPase binds to granonucleotide, and, and in the GDP-bound state, the switch is off, and in the GTP-bound state, the switch is on. And, and so you have signal transduction going from extracellular ligands to uh, a, a number of, of different effectors. And the switch is controlled here by, by, by two sets of proteins, the GEFs, which stands for granonucleotide exchange factor, essentially kick out the nucleotide and replace GDP by GTP, so that they activate the switch. Uh, 